Hello, my name is Andy Plemons and I am the school librarian at David C. Barrow Elementary in Athens, Georgia. And today I want to share with you a project that is very special at our school called the Barrow Peace Prize and give you an opportunity to think about how a project like this might look within your own spaces. And when I'm collaborating with teachers, I like to think about ways that we can get our students' work and our students' voices and ideas beyond the walls of our school to audiences um, all around the globe. Um, I think that the library is a really important place for supporting educators because it's a place where we can collaborate alongside teachers, librarian and teacher working together to try out things that we maybe haven't tried before and we can support one another through these new curiosities and adventures. Um, I think it's important for us to experiment with new tools and new ideas and not be afraid to make mistakes along the way, but not really mistakes, just things to learn from uh, so that we can improve our practice and improve um, our projects for students in the future. The Barrow Peace Prize started out as a project where students were creating who they thought should be on the next United States postage stamp. That was the initial idea, and it was a biography project. And the teachers sat down to collaborate with me and think about how can we take this idea of a project and make it more authentic, more within our control, and to be able to allow students to interact with um, people beyond the walls of our school. And so the Barrow Peace Prize um, over time was developed. And so the way the Barrow Peace Prize begins is that we talk about this idea of a Peace Prize. And we chose the Barrow Peace Prize because it's named after our school. And we think about what are the qualities that someone might need to exhibit in order to win a prize like this. And so I do a um, virtual call with all of the classrooms so the kids stay in their classrooms and I work with them from the library. I've done this um, through Google Hangouts, um, but of course now we can use Zoom for this as well. Um, usually during this time I read books like uh, a short picture book by our biography about Alfred Nobel or Pieces and Offering. And I love that within Pebble Go now there are different um, articles about being a good citizen. So this is something that I can highlight to students. We certainly don't go in and read every one during this session, but it's something that I can bring up. Once we've read a little bit about peace prizes and um, qualities that someone might exhibit for being an outstanding citizen, in classrooms, kids brainstorm the qualities they think someone should have to win the Barrow Peace Prize. And on a shared Google Doc, every classroom adds student ideas so that we can come up with this year's criteria for the award. Then students pick a person to research from history. And um, oftentimes these are chosen based on our standards or sometimes students are involved in deciding which people will be um, possibilities for who they might choose. Um, a lot of times we do this in February during Black History Month, and so we feature a lot of the African-American uh, biographies that are within Pebble Go. Pebble Go is kind of our starting place in deciding who we're going to research since this is a second grade project. Um, students, once they've decided on their person, they start gathering information. They begin in Pebble Go. We also, through Capstone Connect, have access to lots of ebooks that students can read about their person and then physical books in the library as well. Um, and then we branch out to some res other resources as well online. And students gather their research onto uh, paper graphic organizers, but we also have used Google Docs um, to gather information as well. In art class, students um, create a piece of art with our art teacher um, to highlight their person in some way. Sometimes it is a picture of the person uh, that might um, be a representation of them to display during the award ceremony. Um, and then students use um, their research and their art to write a persuasive essay about why their person should win the Barrow Peace Prize and they record this in Flipgrid. Uh, in Flipgrid, they can um, put their piece of art as a background or they can put it as an image that's just floating beside them so that you can see the student and see their piece of art while they read uh, their persuasive essay. 
Then I take all of the work that students have done and put it in one location that's easy to share out um, to the world. And I often use S'more to do this. I put links to the various Flipgrids uh, that people will need to click on to access. We cr I create a Google form for voting and put the different nominees for the Peace Prize for this year. And we start sharing this uh, widely through Twitter, through Class Dojo to families to listen to. Um, I usually do a blog post about it. Sometimes students present at an assembly in the school so that students within our school can also vote. Um, if I'm presenting at a conference, I ask people to look and vote as well. And so through this Google form, we can start to see which person is in the lead for the Barrow Peace Prize. Also through S'more, it unlocks a map so that we can start to see where people are viewing our project. And as I'm tweeting um, for people, I do ask if your students are looking at the project or you're looking at the project to share that with us so that we can see how our project is reaching. And so. Um, it's always fun for the kids to see other students in other parts of the world looking at their project. And the kids are always amazed at all of the pens that pop up on the map and they can see that their work really is reaching beyond just our small area of Athens, Georgia. Um, another piece of the project is that we hold a big awards ceremony at the end to announce who the winner of the Barrow Peace Prize is. And a student one year decided that we needed an actual award. And so with our 3D printer, we have a team of students each year that designs that year's Barrow Peace Prize medal. They're printed on the printer. And then every student who researches the winning person gets one of those awards. We also hand out paper certificate awards for various um, parts of the project as well to highlight artists and great writers and great speakers, persuaders, um, and so that's a lot of fun. We um, do our ceremony uh, in the library, but we always connect with Flipgrid and Flipgrid talks to the students about the importance of their voice. Um, they show them a little bit of the Flipgrid offices and they also help announce the winners um, of various awards. And then we hand out the awards in the library. So this is a project that's specific to us, but it's one that can be an ad adapted in so many different ways. So I hope that you will think about uh, the possible choices and topics that your students might explore and how you might put together a project that would reach out beyond the walls of your school and ask people to interact with your student work um, and help your students see that their voices are important, not just in school, but out in the world as well.